Hello guys, welcome back to PW Medit YouTube channel. First of all, uh, all the very best from the entire PW Medit team for every aspirant who is sitting for the upcoming INICT exam. I am sure most of you must be uh, very seriously preparing and you might have ignored the mails which come to you from the exam authority. So there's a recent development uh, along with the release of the admit card, the authorities also have also sent a mail which has a very valuable information which is important for all the students who's going to attend the exam. There is a little bit change in the pattern. So I, I'm just going to read out and try to explain and try to understand what exactly AIMS or the INACT wants to convey to all the students sitting for the exam. So the mail reads like this, the admit cards are out for you for download and your uh, schema of the exam remains the same, which means uh, you'll have the same amount of positive markings, negative markings, that is not going to change. It's going to be the same 200 questions for 180 minutes, three hours. But there is a slight change in the pattern of testing, which is instead of having 200 questions at a stretch, you will be having four blocks of 50 questions each. Might look superficially as not much of a change, but we have to analyze what exactly they mean by blocks and what is the thing which an aspirant should keep in mind before going to the examination. First and foremost thing, this block based techniques of uh, examination is something which has been done in USMLE exams for years together. AIMS is trying to or INICT is trying to emulate whatever USMLE exam is trying to do it, which we have uh, noticed in the previous examinations of AIMS as well. They try to emulate the foreign pattern of examination to keep up the standards. So what do I mean by blocks? What do I mean by 50 blocks each? The mail clearly states that these questions of 50 blocks are randomly chosen. It's not like that first block will have anatomy, physiology, second will have pathology, not like that. These are randomly chosen 50 questions in four blocks. So what do you mean by this block is when a student, let's assume that I am sitting for the INICT exam, I click the start button after reading the instructions, you will be visible, you will be able to see only 50 questions and you have to complete the entire 50 questions. Once you complete the entire 50 questions, submit it. Only then you will be going to the second block. When you move to the second block, the first block questions will never be visible again, nor the third and fourth block will be visible. So it's compartmentalization of an exam, which is very important. I want every student here to understand because in the previous exams, what we did is if you feel that the first 10 questions are difficult, generally some of the students are like, let me start from 200. This cannot happen in this block wise exams. You have to complete one block, then go to the next block, then go to the third block, then go to the fourth block. It's not skipping anymore. It might look a bit difficult, but I would say take the positive side of it. Because if, if when you write sit for any exam, you click mark for review. In the last 10 minutes, when you have a little bit of extra time, you go rethink, overthink and write the wrong answer. That will not happen here. At the same time, there is a little bit of difficulty that if you know for a fact that you marked something wrong in the first block, you will never have an option to change it again, right? So be certain of the questions, read through it completely and click the block completely. Please don't overdo the time. 50 questions, 45 minutes. That's how the block is. After 45 minutes, it goes next block, right? So keep in mind that don't think that I'll be able to complete this at the end. You cannot do it, right? So it's a very time bound exam so that you, let's say you, you're completing only 45 questions, five questions you can, have, can never re-attempt them, right? So keep that in mind. Time management is very, very crucial for Zion ICT exam and it's a new information given just a few days before the exam. So do not panic because panic is something which is going to get you way below in the exam uh, hall, right? You will, you'll be stressed and you'll not be able to perform as much as you have read. So don't panic. This information is shared to every student who's sitting for the INICD exam for the first time, just a few days before the exam. So everyone is in the same boat. No one has prefer, prepared for this before. And there's very short time for you to excel that as well. And also keep in mind, if there's any change in the pattern, any change in the scheme of an examination, the first batch will definitely be having a slight competitive edge because the questions will be a little bit on the easier side. That's how generally every exam happens. So be happy that maybe, I'm not sure, maybe this exam might be of a little bit of an easier thing, not so difficult because they're changing the scheme of the exams, right? So please go through your mail. If you're not gone through your mail, please go through your mail and see what aims have communicated with you. And it's very, very important that during the exam hall, read to the instructions before you, you click the uh, start the exam. 
read the instructions carefully don't just skip it and click uh, accept all the terms and conditions like we always used to and like i said it's a first time the first time for everyone so it will definitely be easy if you have any more comments regarding the block quote system how to handle it or any comments regarding the exam preparation put in the comment section below i'll try to address most of your queries see you soon till then bye bye from dr ranjit bye bye